David and Goliath at Amore Park. Galway 50 to 1 on to win, but Leash under Seamus Cheddar Plunkett were hoping to rattle one of the Goliaths of Hurling. Leash in their first Leinster semi final since 2001 were buoyant after promotion to Division 1B and championship wins over Antrim and Carlow. And they made a whirlwind start, scoring the opening two points before Zane Keenan recorded this effort to make it three points to no score with four minutes on the clock. With Galway in slumber mode, it soon got better for Leash. Willie Highland adding to a dream start for the home team. Four points to no score, a flying start by the home side. Joe Canning was given licence to roam and he pointed a free to get Galway off the mark after nine minutes. He then struck this fine point to leave it a two-point game, four points to two in favour of Leash. The sides last met in 2007, Canning hit 110 that day and he added two further points to level the game at four each. A great catch here and smartly away from John Delaney before knocking the ball over. Leash might well have buckled at the sight of Canning hitting a groove, but they showed a real hunger and drive for the battle that Galway lacked. A first half decorated by some magnificent scores, including the sublime point from Joe Fitzpatrick from Rackdowney Errol. And the home side thought they'd opened up a three-point lead through Fitzpatrick. Consultation soon followed. Referee James Owens went in to check on deliberations before the judgment came. Wide ball. Galway through Niall Burke notched the final point of a highly competitive first half to leave themselves a point to drift to the interval. 8-7 to Leash, who left the pitch to a standing ovation. Galway brought on James Regan at half-time and he drew the sides level shortly after the restart with a fine long-range point. And by the 48th minute, Leash had surrendered their lead. Damien Hayes guiding Galway into a two-point advantage, 11 points to nine. Zane Keenan hit back with a second of the game to keep Leash on the coattails of the tribesmen. With the vast majority in the crowd of over 5,000 roaring them on, Leash struck for a goal. Sub Neil Foyle collected before slipping the ball to Tommy Fitzgerald, who drilled the ball past James Skehill. Leash in front again, 110 to 12 points. But that lead was short lived as Galway responded in devastating fashion. Joe Canning's drive was brilliantly blocked by Owen Ryan, and Davy Glennon seized on the rebound to fire home. Glennon injuring himself in the process, but fortunately for Galway, he was able to soldier on. There was much to admire about Leash today. They simply refused to buckle following that goal. Matthew Whelan scored a free from halfway before Zane Keenan landed this point to leave just one in it. Given that it's been eight weeks since the league semi-final, there was bound to be a certain amount of rustiness about Galway. And even though they laboured, they still came through to win. Angus Callanan with the strike. Owen Riley got a touch to it, but the Schlitter agonisingly trickled over the line. That was the crucial knockout blow to Leash Hopes. Joe Canning ended the day with 11 points before Damien Hayes rounded off the scoring to seal a seven-point win for Galway. And so Galway set out on their quest to win a first Lee McCarthy since 1988 with victory, but boy was it hard-earned. David didn't quite slay Goliath, but Goliath was on the ropes for a while today. 14 wides there and, you know, second to a lot of the balls early on, our performance wasn't really what would uh, win a Leinster final for us. And, uh, but we're happy to have got that uh, tough test today, uh, Leash. Um, we have to say that uh, they've played a, a brilliant game there today and have had a brilliant run and it's great to see Leash coming back so strong. But uh, we'll, we'll take a huge benefit from this game and prepare now for the next three weeks. I thought we got a good game plan today. Um, we 
we probably needed to push on a little bit more and probably when we did push on for the game 20 minutes from the end is when we did when they did open us up really for the goal um, um, and you know it was a critical time for us but listen we wanted to go win the match that's the way we set ourselves up uh, we set ourselves up defensively we weren't going to be naive and start conceding some things here um, I think that worked well for us for a while but certainly when we did push players up the field to try and go win the match uh, we probably spilled a couple of scores the other end and at the end that was probably the crucial difference.